Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to see how we can integrate ChatGPT to our own project in ASP.NET Core. OpenAI, which is the team behind ChatGPT, have added ChatGPT to their API and they have provided us with a very simple way to use it. We will call this API inside our web API project in ASP.NET Core and we will get responses directly from ChatGPT. So let's just start right now. So I have just opened up Visual Studio and I'm creating here a new project. Let me just find the web API template for our project. And I'm going to use the first one with a C sharp as its language. Click on next. Here I'm giving a name to the project, like, I don't know, open AI app or something. just click on next. I'm leaving everything else here as default and just click on create and we'll just wait until the project loads. Okay, so I'm just deleting some default, this default controller that we have here and this default weather forecast class here. And what I'm going to do firstly, I'm just going to go to dependencies. I'm going to click on manage NuGet packages. Here I'm just going to add the open AI package. Just click open AI. Here. And just click on install. Click on accept. package is already installed and just go to the controllers and add the new controller here and just go to API and I'm going to add the API controller empty here let me just give a name to the controller like home controller and this is our controller now before we can create the method let me just go to platform.open.ai.com, which I will link down in the description. And here you should firstly just sign up to have an account to be able to use their API. It's a pretty straightforward process. I have already an account, so I'm just logging into it. Just inputting my username and password. And after you have successfully logged in just go to the right top corner and click on view api keys here i have already created an api key but i'm just going to create a new one so that you just see how it goes so i'm naming it like whatever creating the secret key here and this is the only time we will see this we'll have to copy this api key so i'm just going to copy it here because we cannot see it again so I'm just copying it here, click done, the API key is created. I'm just storing it somewhere in my computer so that I have it. And I'm just going now to the controller where we'll create the method to use this API key. Okay, we'll just create the HTTP get method. Down below. I'm just specifying the route, which will be equal to the name of the method actually. So I'm naming the method and the route used chat GPT. And here I'm just creating a public async method. The return type will be task and it will take an I action result. Here's the name of the method, which I'm making it use chat GPT. And the method will take an input actually. So a string, which I'm naming input here. Then let me just open up the curly braces. First, I'm gonna need an output variable to store the output that we receive after we call the API. 
and I'm just giving it an empty string value here. Then inside another variable, which I'm naming OpenAI, just gonna create a new OpenAI API class, which will take inside parentheses our secret API key inside uh, inside double quotation marks. Here is the key that we created in our account. Here down below, what we'll do is we'll create an completion request object. Just name it completion request. And it's basically the syntax to do it. Here we'll also specify some properties of this completion request that we'll send to the API. So the completion request that prompt will be equal to the input variable. And here I'm also going to specify the completion request that model property, which I'm just setting it to open AI underline API that models and that model and then that I'm just using one uh, the Da Vinci text which is one of the models choices and down below we can also specify this max tokens property which basically specifies the maximum amount of characters that the response can have we will set it to have a maximum of 1024 characters down below in another completions variable will actually make the request to the api so I'm just adding here await openai.completions that create completion async and it will take the completion request object in parentheses. So here we'll make this request to the, the API and we will also await there in this variable the response that we will get from it. Down below, after we have gotten the response, we will use a for each loop loop through this completions variable I'm just open, opening up the curly braces and to the output variable that we created in the beginning we will store there each text that we have we will get from this completion variable just need to write it completions dot so the variable name dot completions what is left for us to do now is we will just return the 200 code, the OK code, together with the output variable. This is all the code we have to do here. So if I just run the project here, we should be able to see our Swagger interface. We will test our API that we created. So we see the name of the controller and this method. I have actually, this is actually chat GPT, not chat GPT. I can just simply change that. Chat GPT. Okay, let me just turn on the project again. Okay, let's click on this method here. Click on try it out. It will put an input to it, to the API. So like whatever you write in chat GPT, like, I don't know, chat, hi chat GPT. If we execute it, we make the request to the API and we should get the response. Down below, we have the 200 OK code and the response body we see. Hi there, how can I help you?
You can try different things. Anything you ask ChatGPT in the website, you will get the same response here as well. So this was pretty much it. This is how you can integrate ChatGPT to your web API project. I will link down in the description below my web API playlist if you want to learn more about web APIs. And I will also link down the source code for this project. And if you want to see how you can call your own web API, just like the one we created in this video, I have also made a video about that, which I will make sure to leave right below. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if, if you like this content. And I will catch you guys in the next video.